code scene has a number of views related to development process and type of work being done, such as the development cost trends. These types of analysis use data from project management tools like JIRA, and to get valid results in them, you need to configure the code scene PM integration. Let me try to explain how that works. If we look at the repository being analyzed in this project, Apache Flink and in particular look at the commits and commit messages inside that project, we can see that the commit messages references JIRA issues in the Flink JIRA project. During analysis, CodeScene will extract these issue references from commit messages and try to match commits to data fetch from JIRA according to your configuration. This is the Flink JIRA project, so what we want to do here is to configure CodeScene to fetch data from this project. Let's see if we can try to do that. Go to the Configuration page inside CodeScene, to PM Integration, and select the JIRA option. Now, for this example, I will only configure what's absolutely necessary and leave some more advanced configuration options for another time but these are the bare essentials that you need to configure. First thing you need to do is to tell CodeScene about the URL to your JIRA instance. So let's copy that from up here. My specific JIRA instance for this example is public, so I can safely leave the credentials blank but you will need to fill in credentials for your JIRA instance here and see the JIRA documentation for how to create API tokens and such. And this is really all I need to do on the first page. I click Save and Continue. This will take me to a second configuration page, and when doing this, CodeScene has actually connected to the JIRA instance and fetched some data. So when I reach the second page, I know that my JIRA token worked and was valid and I need to tell CodeScene to fetch data from the Flink project. The next settings I want to configure are the transition names. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's look at the JIRA instance. In a typical issue here, this one, for example, has been created in an open state. It's been moved to in progress and finally moved to closed. And these are precisely the transitions I need to tell CodeScene about. We actually have some defaults here, and the first one is correct, in progress. That's really what I used inside this JIRA project. The second one, however, was not, because when done, this issue was moved to closed. So let's put closed here and remove the other ones. That's it for the transitions. The next thing I want to configure is the defect work types. And what that means is telling CodeScene what JIRA issue types should be treated as defects or unplanned works. Let's look at my JIRA instance to see if the default is correct. This is a defect, and I indeed see the bug type being used. This means that this configuration is correct. I can safely leave this as a bug, and then submit. The next time I run an analysis, CodeScene will first extract the issue IDs from commits and properly be able to match this to the data fetched from my Flink JIRA project.